I'm going to show you how to break or destroy the chariot, or chariots actually, there are three in the Aritza Hero's Grave. This is going to reward you with the Holy Ground Ash of War and the Tree Sentinel set. Just going to leave the map up there so you guys can see where we are. I find it's a good idea to bring the Opaline Bubble Tear with you, just in case you need to be able to resist a hit from the chariots as you're going through. Obviously setting off from the grace then. We'll soon see that we'll have a chariot appear in front of us and that's going to start charging at us. Not too interested in fighting any enemies. We're just going to run down here and go straight off this ledge. It's directly ahead of us here. Not terribly interested in the basilisks that are all going to want to aggro on us either. If it does become opportune, maybe we'll uh, just clear a couple out of the way so we don't get caught out here. Once at this point then, we want to wait until we get a chance to... Whoops! This is why this bit can be dangerous, just be careful. We want to wait for it to go back up now, realistically speaking. This is not a place where I would advise using your bubble thing if you have bought it with you. So we're just going to go like this. We should see that this one will come over here, look, and move straight on over to the left. This other one's going to go on past us. We're going to swerve back onto the right. I'm going to wait for that to do its turn. And we're going to drop off right where this corpse is onto the rafter. Now then, there is lots of loot down here, but I feel like the first thing I want to do before I itemize this dungeon. Let's make sure that the video for destroying the chariots is out, for those that want to do this a little bit more calmly. So we're going to come over this way. We're going to drop off onto this rafter. Basilisk shouldn't bother us too much, so we're not too bothered about going onto there to attack that. And we're going to want to drop onto this one. I prefer being straight in front of the skeleton. You can see there's a skeleton just ahead of us. You can outrange it, so you can go ahead and start firing at it with a bow right now if you wish to. Um, but I prefer running straight at it rather than having it hit me from the side, where it'll knock me off the um, knock me off the platform if it does happen to hit me. As you can see, it was rearing up to throw a firebomb, so you really want to rush this quickly. Or take it on from range, of course. Now we can head on up the ladder. This takes a second. And we have another chariot. We can go straight on up, which is kind of nice actually. What we want to do is wait for the chariot. It's probably a little bit too tight there, look. Wait for the chariot to come back up. I'm going to go ahead and pop my bubble tier now. This is where it usually hits me. As soon as it comes up, we're going to hit this, and we're going to run on out after the chariot. Drop it here. I've already been hit by the skeleton now, that's annoying. Stay down. As it passes over, we we'll go down here. There's another little duck in on the left. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not. That's why I like having the bubble tier for that. <laughs> um, it seems to have reduced the damage, which, which is nice. It used to be like a one-shot kill. And then we can head on to the left here. Again, there's more loot down here that you can grab right now, but that's not what this video is for. We just want the lift. Once we get to the top of the left, we'll see the same flame pillar that we just moved. Okay, if you haven't hit the flame pillar, that will be blowing flames towards us right now. That's not what we want to be uh, faced with as soon as we get up there, otherwise it's just a real pain in the ass. What we're actually going to do is we're going to hit this here like this. And we're going to run past it. We're going to equip a bow. Any of a bow will do, and any type of arrow. And then we're going to bring it back up again. Oops.
what's going to happen now is I'm going to drop off here. Might as well collect this if you're here as well. And all the chariots are going to break. That's all of your rewards. If you want to know what just happened, basically the third chariot got teleported to just here and they all rammed each other. If you happen to need an extra stone sword key, maybe for the door on the way in here, it's just this purple light here on the ramp. That's going to close out this video. I hope that helps you out and I'll see you all in the next one.